Every day, thousands of cars drive on I-95 in New Haven. Over the past 10 years, this area has been bustling with construction. But the biggest part of that construction job is just underway. The Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge, also known as the Q Bridge, is getting a makeover to go from this to this. As John Dunham, supervising engineer for the Q Bridge, explains, the bridge is getting old, and there are a lot more cars using it now than what it was originally made for. Um, the current bridge was built in 1955. It was built for a capacity of about 60,000 vehicles per day. Um, right now, uh, the bridge is carrying in excess of 120,000 vehicles per day. So it's uh, primarily it's under capacity. Can't handle the level of traffic that it's handling right now. The new Q Bridge is actually part of a huge 7.2 mile construction project between Exit 46 and Exit 54 on Interstate 95. Twelve different contracts were handed out to different construction companies to divide up this huge job. Seven of those contracts are completed, including reconstruction that provides three travel lanes in each direction, full shoulders, and a new median barrier in East Haven. This construction project was proposed in the mid-90s. The bridge was designed in 1999, and ground was broken on the new Q Bridge in 2008. The current bridge has three lanes in each direction, with very small shoulders. As project engineer Matthew Briggs explains, the new bridge will be much larger. Well, as it was said in the presentation, we're adding two additional lanes on both sides, so that gives three dedicated lanes to Interstate 95 through this area. So it should increase our capacity for traffic flow through the area immensely. We'll uh, be done up at what we call that abutment, or it's basically a support to the end of the bridge. And then steel will eventually be erected across and over to all those piers over there, and then all the way across the bridge, kind of in the same way that the existing bridge is. The new bridge will be double the size of the existing bridge. The process over the next five years will be as follows. A new and expanded bridge will be built and both directions of traffic will move to it. Then the current and old bridge will be demolished, and another bridge will be built there. Finally, one direction of traffic will move to the second new bridge, essentially giving each direction of traffic its own bridge. When building such a large structure in a busy metropolitan area, like New Haven, you would think it would disturb lots of local traffic, but engineers say they've been doing a pretty good job getting the work done while staying out of the way. So like anything else, whenever you shut down roads, it's, it's always difficult on people. But if you can give them uh, plenty of advance notification and you deliver uh, when you say you're going to deliver, and uh, that helps build some credibility and people are uh, more apt to be able to withstand the changes and, and the, uh, uh, deal with the construction activities that are ongoing while we get the job built. This construction is at least 10 years into the plan, and Connecticut DOT project engineer Ghazi El Sakri says that meeting deadlines is by far one of the most difficult parts of this whole job. Uh, meeting the milestone dates, we had to work last year in the uh, harsh uh, winter weather. We had cold weather and we continued working during the, uh, the cold uh, uh, winter months. One of the more recent milestones came in April 2010. A second lane was opened when traveling from I-91 to I-95 South. For at least the past five years, INREX, a highway traffic rating company, has named this interchange the sixth worst bottleneck in the United States. On April 16th, the DOT opened up a second lane, giving commuters at least a little relief. Walsh Construction, the construction company that completed this job, was given a $2 million prize for finishing this section of the project one month early. Even bridge engineers themselves have to deal with the same headaches that Hamden commuters have had to deal with for years. It will greatly help traffic. I live, uh, I come every day from uh, Newington. I live uh, up near Hartford. And every day in the morning the traffic is backed up because we have one lane of traffic going from 91 southbound to 95. And traffic is always backed up. And uh, it delays me by maybe 10-15 minutes every day commuting to work. This was just one milestone in the huge 7.2 mile construction project. Commuters will be grateful when the project is fully completed in 2016 and traffic will flow smoothly allowing for a brighter day on the road.